Hello and welcome to my first War Thunder tutorial. I'm Silence Aviab and I hope you will enjoy this tutorial. First of all, I have to say I'm not a native English speaker, so please be forgiving. And I will start my tutorial with the graphic user interface. Currently, I'm in the hangar, as you can see. At the moment, uh, my selected plane, you can select your plane down here, is in the center of my view and I can use my right mouse button to change the angel of view and use my mouse scroll wheel to scroll in and zoom in and zoom out. As you can see there are five different countries in War Thunder. The US Air Force, German Air Force, Soviet Union Air Force, British Air Force and Japanese Air Force. First of all War Thunder is a little bit difficult from the menus to learn, so I will start slowly. At the top you have a menu bar with which you can access to the different game modes here. Now to battle, custom battles, tutorial and missions. For the beginning I would advise you to do the tutorial, the different tutorials and the basic tutorials are especially for beginners. As you can see there's a tutorial for the fighter, the assault plane and the bomber. Those are the basic um, plane classes in game and additional tutorials for takeoff landing and other stuff. There are also missions which are co-op or single player missions. I will talk about this later. In the menu you can access the game options which is very useful at the beginning. Here you can set if you want to auto log in. You can set your default view, your cockpit, virtual cockpit, and third person view. You can set if you want to enable controller vibrations if your controller supports force feedback. You can set a basic gun targeting distance. I will explain this later. And a vertical aim targeting. I will explain this all this stuff later too. And of course, to save free plays and brightness just adjust this as you like the interface you can change if you want the smaller icon version like this with a bigger view of your plane in the middle or the one for big screens with bigger bars and surfaces i'll change my back <laughs> okay um, there's lots of other information here. So, for example, if you want to have subtitles, chat for new message, all the stuff you can change here. And sound is here too. You have different sounds for your pilot, female and male voices. You can change your music settings. If you, for example, want the engine volume not so high, you don't want to hear your engine. Or don't want to hear your gunfire so loud, you can change the seal. Then you have the encyclopedia. It's kind of a wiki for everything about the interface. If you need help, just look it up here. All the crew skills are explained here. For example, the store, how it works. It's kind of a little tutorial. Just read it if you're new. The game modes are explained, except for real battles, I will explain this later. The controls, control types are explained. The tactics, so what you can do in game. For everything. And some special maneuvers. Like the Immelmann. Also history of some of the battles. As you can see, you can have a link to the FAQ, uh, the forum and the support. Next thing is the leaderboards. Leaderboards you can access, um, see your overall ranking in the different game modes. And of course, other information about the players as you can see. This is me. There's another player I can Look up the information about this player by clicking on Game Account. You have options to add him as a friend, add him to a blacklist. 
You can see his overall level, his rank in a country's air force, his pilot icon. Here you can see how many battles, arcade battles is the first one, second one is historical, third one full real, how many battles he has finished and stuff like this. Okay. In the replays, every battle, the last 10 battles are saved as replay, you can watch them here by just view replay or you can save them by renaming them or open the folder where they are saved or delete them. <laughs> Next thing is benchmark. You can test your graphic settings. I would advise you to do this before you go into a battle because if your FPS is too low and you know the game does not work as it should, um, you can just um, lower your graphic settings in the launcher. To get to the launcher you have to exit the game, start the launcher and go to graphic options, maybe advanced graphic options and reduce them if you have low FPS. Your frames per second are shown up here and they should be above 30. Then you have of course the credits and you can exit the game. Okay, in the middle you can see how many people are online and playing and you can see how many battles are hosted. As you can see there are many players playing arcade, about 700 are playing historical and a little bit less are playing for real battles. Uh, we'll talk about the different game modes later. Then you have your profile information, your overall ranking which is not very useful because it just unlocks you new pilot icons you can choose. Beginning you will only have a smaller selection then unlock more. You can select them, they are shown in your gamer card etc. Then you have the rank in the country's air force. This is more important because it shows which to which planes you have access. access and the medals you have earned, it's just to show off. <laughs> you have your statistic, how many victories and all the stuff you have in the game modes, arcade, historical, full reel. Then you have a logbook, you can see in which aircraft you perform the best. You can select the nations and just sort them by kills or something like this. And you can change it, of course, uh, for the different game modes. It's not very... I don't know if it's up to date. Then the medals. You can earn medals to show off. And yeah, here you can see what you have to do to unlock them and what are the um, limitations. There are medals for every Air Force. Britain, Germany, Italy. Italy is combined with Germany with the planes and the research tree. Then you have different challenge, challenges. You can earn additional lines and experience by completing those challenges. For example, carrier landings or metal earning, shooting down players with your rear gunner or specific bomber. Of course, you can unlock skins for your aircraft. Um, those are, you can select the country and look what you have to do to unlock the skin. For example, 30 players killed in player vs player game mode with the 109 K4 to unlock this skin. Every country has its own skins except Japanese. <laughs> Japan. I don't know why they did not add any skins for them yet. Decals. Next thing is decals. You can paint your aircraft as you want them. To do so, you have to unlock decals. Some are unlocked from the beginning and for the others you have to do things like win missions or get some kills. For example, destroy ground units to unlock this decal. Um, how to put the decals on your plane I will tell you later. And of course you can change your account, change your nickname and convert XP in this profile window. 
I will talk about ConvertXP later. Okay, next thing is the shop. In the shop you can buy premium currency, which is Golden Eagles. Golden Eagles is uh, needed to access all the premium stuff in the game. For example, a premium account, which gives you double experience in all game modes and uh, 1.5 times lines in all game modes. Also, it gives increased um, rewards. Um, it, increase, it increases the limit of dynamic campaigns mission, which give reward and allows you to make squads consisting of more than two players. This is not available yet. You can make squads of four players at the moment either you have premium or not and it unlocks um, two more de slots for decals for all your planes. As you can see it's relatively cheap to buy premium account, it's very useful. Next thing you can do with your eagles, golden eagles with the premium currency is convert them into lines. Lines is the main currency you get for Shooting down enemy players, uh, shooting down ground units, winning a mission, you get lines. Lines you need to purchase new aircrafts, put them into service, repair them, buy new modifications, upgrades, buy new bombs and stuff like this. Um, yeah. Below here you can see how many lines you have, how many eagles you have, how many medals you have, how many planes you earn. All the planes in all countries. Um, Next thing you can do with um, premium or real money is to buy, for example, campaigns, single player campaigns, you can play them. And combined with the single player campaigns, there are often a special aircraft and premium account as and some eagles as a gift. If you want to buy them, feel free to do so. They are very good. Another thing is data kits, which give you a higher ranked aircraft at the beginning and some premium currency and a premium account to test. It's also very good because if you compare them to um, the Eagles, you see that the aircraft is given for free. It's not very, it does not cost much more as if you would purchase um, premium currency. Next thing is you can convert XP with um, the premium currency and this works um, you earn experience by um, shooting down enemies and killing ground units and all this stuff and the same amount you earn as a as an air force uh, experience you get as free XP and you can convert free XP for lines to rank up faster this is very helpful at the beginning because it makes you rank up much more faster. Okay, next thing here is your overall ranking, your name. This is the name which appears in game. Um, new message. You can see message in the event log about everything, the battles. So, for example, if you kit a mission before it was over, you can see if you get additional lines and experience after that and you've seen if your plane was damaged and the condition of the plane in the economics you can see if you when you buy something how much does it did it cost and all this stuff achievements if you unlock new camouflage or got a new level and all this stuff in the crews selection you can see if you skilled your crews and how much did it cost and in the store you can see if you purchased anything like for real money like campaigns or eagles okay down here this is your plane selection you can select the air force and you can select the plane the selected plane is centered in the middle you can look at it and you get here some more information Okay, down here, this, the yellow thing is the experience bar for each Air Force. As you can see, it's different for all. And it makes you, if you fill the experience bar, you get the rank up in this Air Force, which unlocks new airplanes. It's a small example. If I reach rank 13 in the 
British Air Force, I unlocked the Typhoon MK1B L, late version, and I can buy it. At the moment, I can just watch it in the hangar by clicking on the hangar icon. I can see how it looks. Looks pretty nice. And I could get information about it, historical information, and information about the armament. Of course, here are the stats of the planes, and here's the armament. Let's go back to the hangar. Good. If you want to test the aircraft, you can test every aircraft you have unlocked before you can buy it. Every aircraft, including the premium aircraft, by just clicking on them and click to test flight. Then you can select the difficulty settings and all the stuff and click just OK and the test flight will start. It will start and you can train with the aircraft and see if it is worth buying. 